Hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris. I walk up the South Coop all the time. So I took that joke right at Grub. I'm just gluing together a piece from my clock and going over today's science file. Let's have this time about that. How does glue work? Well, that's a great question. Try this. You'll need some milk, some vinegar, some baking soda, and some water. Start by getting yourself some skimmed milk. It has to be skimmed milk, not 2%. Pour 450 milliliters of skimmed milk into a cooking pot. Turn on the heat and let this heat up until it feels warm to the touch. Once warm, pour 6 tablespoons of vinegar into the milk and stir this until the milk starts to curdle and then remove from the heat. Now set up a strainer over a bowl and strain the curds from the liquid. Press the curds to get rid of as much liquid as you can. Now pour the curds into a container and add one tablespoon of vinegar soda. Pour in the little bit of water and stir this for at least two good ones. yourself some wooden planks. If you can't find wooden planks, you know, just, just use your neighbor's wooden fence. <laughs> what are neighbors for? <laughs> Go ahead and glue them together like this. And then let this sit and dry for 10 hours. We're going to test this wood right here and see how much weight your glue can hold. Here we go. Adhesives, or glues, are substances used to bond two objects together and can either be made of natural means or synthetic. The glue you made is known as a casein glue. In this case, a glue that used proteins in milk as a bonding agent. And this glue used a liquid to help the proteins flow in between microscopic pits. If you get molecules close enough to each other, you can disrupt their electron clouds and cause them to attract each other. The liquid evaporates, leaving behind the solid proteins, which harden to hold the objects together. Not all glues work by using a liquid or semi-liquid that evaporates or cools down. Some glues use a chemical reaction to create a bond between two objects. Like epoxy glue uses a chemical reaction to turn small molecular chains into long, thick, rope-like chains, which help to form a bond. So now you know how glue works. You know, making your own glue right at home is why science is so cool.